Hey everyone, Skyman02 here. Today we're going to be reviewing the Transformers Titans Return Legends Class Bomi. So here's the front of the packaging with a nice image of Bomi on it. I don't really have anything at all, so here's the back of the packaging right here. Included in the box is the, the, the collector's car with that same image of Bomi on it and his tech specs on the back. So here we have Bomi in his car mode. It's obviously not a Volkswagen as you can see right there for several reasons, but it does look pretty nice. Works pretty nicely. It does have a lot of nice yellow molding and the nice yellow plastic with some yellow paint right there as you can see. Nice black stripe and nice gunmetal gray right there. Nice headlights as you can see on the front and it does roll pretty nicely as I said before. Oh and here's the back with the license plate molded on and everything with some headlights there painted too. Titan Master can ride in the car. You just like undo these parts right there and just move this up right there and there's the the seat right there and you just take like a Titan Master. Here's Flintlock and just peg him right in there. If I um, that just came undone. I mean let me do this off camera. Okay I actually got it in there. Let me just reattach this first. It's on a friction tab. Let me just, I may have to cut away. Hold on, let me cut away. There he is in the car, then just move this back down and just towel this together. I didn't really get it tabbed in that good, but there at least I got it tabbed in enough well. Let me just get him out for the transformation process. You just want to move that up. This is on double hinge. Move this like this right there. Untab the arms drawn double joints right there. Move this back right there and this will just Tab in like so, rotate them so the biceps face forward, then just untab the legs, they move like that right there, and there we have Bumblebee in his robot mode, and it looks fairly decent for the most part, I have to say. I really do love the head sculpt on it, it's very G1, as you can see right there, it does have the odd one somewhere right there, it is very G1, and it all just does look pretty nice, no weapons are included, I wish these shoulder parts can fold in, because they do stick out very oddly, and here is uh, the rest of them that does look pretty nice for the most part, I have to say. Articulation, head can look side to side, it only does a full 360, nothing else. Ball joint, arms right there, you can also use the transformation joint, but they move out right there. You can use the transformation joint as I said for. Ball joint, elbows, they bend forward like that. Rotate right there, and nothing at the waist, nothing at the wrist either. Kick forward at the legs right there, back that much, move outward. Ball joints, there they have a swivel right there, and a knee joint right there, do the transformation. He stands all about four and a half inches tall, right? no, three and a half inches tall. I meant to say. He's with a Titan Master. As you can see, he's a lot bigger than a Titan Master. And here he is with Titan's Return to the Class Cup. Get him back in car mode. You want to rotate the arms like this. The, the panels line up right there, as you can see right there. Undo this right there. Again, fold this out right there. And this is on a double hinge. Just move this back like so. The arms will move up right there, as you can see before, as they were in vehicle mode. They just collapse this all together. I had to do it off camera, collapse this back down if I can, just just lines up and then just tabs together. The legs don't tab together, they just rest like that and then just move them right there. They're on double joints, I said before, and then just tab them. Hold on, I'm doing this off camera because it's easier and just tab this right in right there. And uh, there we have Times Return Bombi in this car mode. So, there's all I have in my review on Times Return Bombi. Bye.